everywhere I go. The people really wanna know who I is and who I be. They stop and stare when they see me. If it's little once, no need to repeat. Run up on me, watch you fall to your knees. Tip my hat when it's time for the kill. Ain't no beast when you're really real. I am the boss, I am the dawn. I am the one they call Lucky Charm. Got my own shit, I don't need your farm. Life was so hard, it made me weak. Built to last, this girl ain't weak. Sturdy and still when I plant my feet. Got it out the mud, now it's racks in my sleep. Look to God, he supplies my needs. Endless Business partners as well. 
la hermosa Bárbara Serrano. Si ustedes no conocen a Bárbara, bueno, tienen que conocerla. Todo, por lo menos toda la gente eh, de Puerto Rico tiene que saber quién es Bárbara. Eh, una de las uh, uh, bellezas en, en los certámenes mm -hmm. que ha ganado coronas y demás representantes de Puerto Rico. Y Bárbara Serrano, pues también es una mujer profesional de negocio. And she building has, her right, and she has building her empire for sure. And she has her own uh, mortgage company. So we work together, we have a great relationship. We have been actually awarded in, in several different occasions together for the same nominations. And she was able to extend the invitation for me to be part of, wow, I don't even know how to describe one of the most popular or well-known. I'll say it said. for you. She was asked to be in Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> I was maybe a little bit more excited than she was. I don't know. Es que de verdad que es algo tan, tan emocionante. Pero la actividad era, habían dos actividades. Eh, una el viernes en la noche que era kind of like a cocktail reception. Welcoming. Yeah. welcoming. A, la, a todas las latinas que iban a estar representando, que by the way, ahí estuvieron personajes como nuevamente Bárbara Serrano, a, a, a Damaris López, um, y todas vestidas así de orange, así como tú, so me hubieras tenido que prestar el vestido, y el sábado era la gala, y obviamente, bueno, nosotros teníamos el premiere del show on Saturday, se me hacía imposible volar la misma noche de regreso para, para acá para Orlando, so no pude participar, pero me muero por si me dan la próxima oportunidad en el, en el próximo evento. I think you're welcome. I think you're welcome. So, I el think... Vogue, oh my God, Vogue. Vogue Latino, yes. It'll come back around, I believe yes. that. But I, I think that that gives people an insight of to what yes. we've been experiencing the last couple weeks. And it's only, it, it's only been weeks. It hasn't been a month yet. No. So no. first of all, we want to say thank you to everyone who has been watching, supporting, um, just giving us so much love. We really appreciate it. And that's why we're going to be showing you tonight what you didn't get to see. And we're going to be going through a bunch of stuff, good and bad, funny. We promise you that. And at the end, there's bloopers. So you got to stay till the end. Wait, wait, wait. I want to tell you, <laughs> I want to tell you something that is really funny. So yesterday, um, Yuri and I are having lunch with uh, Rafa, no? Mm -hmm. Rafael Melendez, which you guys already know. Si sí, sí, <laughs> That's his catchphrase now. Right, and he's, he's you know, telling me that everybody in his family in PR is supporting mm -hmm. him, you know, watching the show and so on. So la mamá lo llama y le dice, Rafa, pero yo estoy viendo el show, pero no entiendo porque paso de una cosa a la otra because she's just watching, right? So YouTube te pasa just refreshes, just refreshes you a new video, right? And not necessarily you go episode. from one episode to the other. So Actually, she's watching everybody's YouTube yes, videos. Yes, and but furthermore, eh, que me imagino que mi papá haría lo mismo. She just kept watching, you know, for like two hours. So now she's watching anything that comes <laughs> up in YouTube uh, related, no? Because that's what YouTube does. And she was like, mira, pero tú también estás vendiendo paneles solares. And it's like, no, I'm not. Well, we can thank the Apple for all of the views in Puerto Rico and abroad. He's campaigning for us. Yes, yes. But by the way, how can people explain to people how can they actually follow to see episode one, two, three, four, Just five, like six. this episode right now, it's gonna be a part of the playlist. And if you go into the Anita Team TV YouTube, which I'm assuming you're in right now, yes. you can go ahead and look for the playlist of Janita's World, where all the episodes are in, in order. You can watch them and let the TV go. Don't worry about the remote anymore. And just binge watch all six episodes. Y yo quiero decirle gracias y un abrazo bien fuerte a todos nuestros clientes Toda nuestra gente linda que nos han dado más que el 100% de su apoyo. Eh, estuvieron los que estuvieron allí con nosotros, pero aún los que no pudieron llegar, los comentarios, los mensajitos de cariño, de amor y de apoyo, de verdad que sin ustedes el show no existiría. So, un beso a cada uno de ustedes. Pero sin más preámbulos, vamos a empezar a ver qué son los Never Seen Ever. Um, before that, I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm freaking out a little Roll bit. Roll the clip! 
I'm freaking out. To ask you is, can I have this peach at the uh, venue after? After the rehearsal? No, the date of the wedding. You want to give a speech at the reception? At the reception. Well, we were going to have everybody, like all the parents, give speeches at the dinner. Excuse me. Where are you guys getting these rules for this wedding? The best man mm -hmm. and the maid of honor give the speeches at the wedding. Family. You, you have to remember, like, we have way too many parents. If I give you a speech, everybody else has to get a speech. It's only fair. So... I'd rather like who the... cares about the other parents? <laughs> I want to give this speech. <laughs> I would rather. Oh my god! Okay. I would rather mm -hmm. everybody gives a speech at the rehearsal dinner where it's intimate, it's family, it means more. Fine. Oh my god! I cannot believe that they recorded that conversation. But 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 okay, okay. but. Before you, before you say anything, I have to defend myself. So, what I was <laughs> trying to explain to Yashida was, first of all, these kids that are grown up here in the States, they don't understand <laughs> that the parents like me that are from the other generation that came from the island, we have very different Customs or perception of what should happen in a wedding and I wanted to give a speech at the wedding I had no issue with you. First of all, you guys didn't see and I gave her a speech But what we wanted to be more intimate like I said that we wanted the parents all of our parents to give speeches at our rehearsal dinner when it was just family it was more intimate it meant more because traditionally at the wedding it is just the best man and the maid of honor. Why? Traditionally where? Well, because if I give you the mic, you're gonna go on for 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, then the next person's gonna go on for another 20 minutes. The people feel me, they understand me, especially if you're Latino, you know what I'm talking about. So we didn't wanna be having 30 minute speeches when everyone's hungry and trying to dance. We wanted to party. Whatever, tell me, yo quiero que ustedes me digan los papás. Si, si los papá, el papá y la mamá deben dar el speech, por lo menos, you know, something to say at the wedding or not. We wanted to party. Anyways. We wanted to party. We party. All right. Now, <laughs> we're going to get ready to show you guys another clip that you guys haven't seen before. And you guys might be a little confused on this one, but don't worry. We'll explain. So apparently you're giving uh, Louis a touch up. Oh, this is for the photo shoot. This is That's for the photo shoot that, that we did for the little boxes. This was this was the literally promotion. the photo shoot yes. that we did for the promo shots yeah. of the show, which if people can see there and you can see those boxes, and I think we're gonna have some pictures up on the screen too. That was a work of magic by it our marketing was. team. It was. I don't think people realize we actually did that here locally in Orlando at um, Selfie World. I don't know if it still exists in the uh, Florida Mall. Let, let, me, let me tell you a little quick story about that. So when we first started seeing or working on how that photo shoot needed to be, obviously I was introduced to many other ways to get it done, but I got in love. With uh, I felt I fell in love with the little boxes. Mm -hmm. So lo primero que pensamos fue cómo vamos a construir? create the box. Create we the literally boxes. were measuring plywood, yes. cardboard. We thought we would turn these rooms into giant boxes, yes. and we thought it would work. Oh, it would have worked. But thank God to our marketing department that they found the perfect way, Alex y uh, Alexis que nos encontró el lugar perfecto de poder hacer ese photo shoot y obviamente Mónica que hicieron magia también en the yeah. editing because yeah. the way that you see those pictures I mean yeah. you guys are probably looking at them right now yeah. they came out stunning yes. and I think that's yes. why people were really attracted yes. to watching the show yes I haven't seen anyone else's marketing look like that yep yep so in the office when we're having important meetings or having family group dinners we have a no phone policy and not everyone knows how to use that properly. And obviously, Gigi, let's see. And yes, on Monday. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, Gigi. Okay. Okay. I have to. 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 I have to.
Dale un rayo, dale un rayo, bro. Dale un rayo. Ya sé que te lo This is a family dinner. Was that you? Yeah. I think no. that was you telling her that this is a family dinner. I think, yeah, I think that was me telling in her New York. Hey, that this is a family dinner. And Rafa is like, you always do this. So siempre hace esto. Suelta el teléfono. And if you didn't notice, guess who was on the phone in the back? Did you notice who was on the phone in the back? No, who was in the phone? Gigi. Oh. <laughs> the whole time that that was happening, Gigi was like this on the phone. So clearly, they need to be disconnected like little iPad kids. Gigi, you need to disconnect. Well, to be fair though, Gigi is always like rolling una maleta with all her devices. <laughs> Ella tiene el teléfono, her iPod. Um, before, she used to carry even the monitor of her computer to work. So ya está conectada at all times. Gigi is crazy, pero Linda no se queda atrás. So ya tienen una competencia entre las dos definitivamente. Like I said, iPad adults. This one that we're gonna see, actually, I do know what is it about, and actually is part of the of the one of the episodes mm -hmm. that is already out there. Nosotros habíamos decidido hacer eh, una actividad de grupo eh, donde, bueno, tomamos las clases para eh, ser certificados el que quisiera, obviamente para poder pues portar un alma. Eh, yo personalmente nunca había tenido ninguna experiencia, eh, neither ni siquiera going to the shooting range mm -hmm. uh, y la mayoría de nuestros agentes tampoco eh, fue eh, una actividad de verdad bien impresionante pero quiero aclarar que esto lo grabamos mucho antes de mm -hmm. que pasara o estuvieran pasando así tan seguido todas estas tragedias que son muy lamentables que están pasando ahora y definitivamente no es algo que nosotros approve y no estamos de acuerdo eh, esto fue simplemente una actividad que ya habíamos programado y se grabó mucho antes de todo esto pero igual queríamos compartir un poquito con ustedes porque sí hubieron cosas funny que pasaron en ese momento así que let's watch what we have next <risa> Octavio están cerca porque no lo echan más para allá Aspen so I wasn't there for, Why for that you go? though. I didn't go to the class. Oh, I that's didn't right. I I wanted to go home that day. <laughs> um but I know that, that was I, that was the first time you've ever shot a gun, right? It's been the first time. Um, obviously, it's a it's a touchy subject. Mm -hmm. um, even in our family, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's always a touchy subject. Um, but I do see that right now because of the things that are happening, it's even more needed to actually be certified to know what you're doing yeah. if it's something that at some point becomes something that it's needed to defend yourself. But besides all of, all of that, we had an amazing time together at the, at the uh, shooting range. Aquí no estábamos en peligro de nada, no era que estábamos este, shooting on the air, fue una cosa programada. Y de verdad que todo el mundo, por lo menos en la actividad, la disfrutamos obviamente. Yo estaba super scared, like literalmente el ruido, el noise, is so intense. I don't think that scared me as much as seeing team members pull out like millions of, of guns out of their bags. We didn't know that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna mention names, but there, there were two that came with two bags like this. Um, but they normally also go for caseria. So, tan así como que más acostumbrados a eso. Pero and and they're, they're like members at the gun range. Oh, of so course. And they're we all know that they're fine. shooting at the gun range, right. guys. <laughs> Um, and they're all certified and everything yeah. is not something. I think the girls do. definitely were a little bit more shooken up at first. Yes. 
Um, and you could see that, but I think it's not also, Linda. No, Linda <laughs> took it like a champ. Linda was ready to just beat out everyone there. She had her a little scared, maybe. Um, but I, I think it's important that we talk about it a little bit and give it context yes. and know that it was in a safe environment. It was controlled. Of and course. at the end of the day, it really was a group body activity because that fear or that knowing that you're behind a weapon that's so powerful yeah. kind of gives you this sense of, I am so tiny compared to everything else. I want to say that one of the most important intakes that I got from that activity, because obviously I took the class, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I actually got certified, um, was learning how dangerous it could be and how I need to be prepared for anything that may happen and how I need to react to it. The class was def what more in depth to the yes. self-defense and a whole bunch yes. of other things, not so much just the weapons mm -hmm. themselves. So I think uh, if you are ever looking for something, yeah, definitely course. getting certified is something that we recommend. Yes. Now this is one of my favorite clips because they don't know what's coming for them, but one of the famous lines from the trailer was that we're Latino and we like to party. Hard. Roll it. <laughs> Definitivamente, whomever is watching right now, they gotta be thinking, wow, these people are partying every day. They didn't know we had time. so many booty shakers on the team. That was a lot. I um, have to say, wait, my favorite is Nelson on the boat <laughs> in Cancun. I didn't know that my son-in-law knew how to, you know, just twerk. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Uh, he thought it was funny in the background. Little did he know that his, you know, whole butt was going to be plastered on the screen. Because that's actually in one of the episodes. Uh, but he, I, I don't even think he remembers that. I, I don't think he remembers <laughs> Well, well, let me tell you what I do remember. As long as everybody is having fun, it's okay. That's an that's inside his... joke. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> but, but also, but also I have to say... I have to defend some people. So you see there, like Linda having shots like three times, and Rafa, and Yuri. I think Nina was the culprit for that. That's not what really happened. I think whomever was recording was making sure that you guys, want, you know, came up with this assumption. So let me clarify that. But we had an amazing time in all those parties. <laughs> and everyone likes to dance and have fun. So why not? Of course. Not? So on this one, you guys are going to get to see que nosotros nos queremos como familia, peleamos como familia, and sometimes we even get confused like family. Let's watch. She said she wants to work with you, then she can work with you. Otherwise, I'm freaking, you didn't, your freaking phone was off, and you didn't have Uber, and you came with Krista and Damaris and I. You guys would have left me. Everybody was together. <laughs> Look at Hector face. You see okay. Hector's. <laughs> He's like really confused. It's like I need mean, looking at her like I think that to this day he doesn't know what happened. <laughs> we need Hector to come back here and clarify because the whole, I I don't know what happened. I just know that he was. So Confused and Andrea 
for whatever reason. I don't know. It seems like we were in New York. We were definitely in New York. They were waiting for an Uber, but I think they didn't know who called the Uber. I, I don't get I it. I think Hector left in an Uber and left Andrea. I think that's what happened. Oh, Hectito, no puede ser. You never know. You never know. I don't know, know but his face was priceless. He was like, what? But, you know, like, and let's not get Linda mad. <laughs> you saw her right there. En vivo y a todo color. La tiburona. Let's remember that. <laughs> oh my God, on this one que vamos a ver, este footage, lamentablemente nadie lo grabó, solamente tenemos fotos que van a ver ahora. Eh, ha sido uno de los momentos más impactantes que he tenido hablando en público, lo van a ver por qué. Eh, nadie, ni un teléfono, nadie lo grabó y literalmente esto se hubiera ido viral. Yep, yep. Eh, one moment I was looking down, the next moment I look up and she's on the floor. Actually, not even on the floor. Yo ni siquiera lo podía ver because she was on the stage, right? Yo estoy mirando a la stage haciendo las presentaciones. And then I look down to look at my next slide. I look back up and she's no longer on the stage. How she got off there that fast? I'm sorry, but you're not Houdini. <laughs> and turns out that she fell. <laughs> she fell flat on her face in a seminar in the middle of everybody. And nobody had a camera out because we follow the no phone policy. <laughs> so the only thing that we can show you are these pictures of what she looked like after the fall. Déjame decirte que Crocs son la nueva moda. <laughs> They even match my outfit. <laughs> They even match the outfit. Eh, tienes una combinación ahí del brace y de los purple and gray Crocs. Okay, what else do we have? No, es que te tengo que contar la historia, pero vamos a ver las fotos. Estabas hablando con un cliente ahí. Uh-huh. Oh my God, is that your foot on a water that's, bottle? That's my foot on a water bottle. So... <laughs> Because that's okay. on the next on the next seminar. Porque obviamente, <laughs> obviamente yo tengo seminarios en la mañana, en la tarde y en la noche. Eh, en la mañana literalmente yo estaba en una tarima donde había un hueco en el mismo medio de la tarima con unos escalones. Y entonces yo estaba pues dando la presentación y yo quería mostrar lo que teníamos en la parte de atrás en la pantalla en la proyección. So, yo me muevo hacia la izquierda, estoy presentando actually, <risa> un, una, un inventario de casa. Cuando me muevo al centro, ya se me olvidó que estaba el hueco. Y literalmente yo me sentí en Matrix. Yo iba como que así. Yo me sentí en el aire, cayéndome y todo. Y lo más interesante es que me caí con estilo, porque yo llegué al piso y caí así. Pero obviamente me doblé un tobillo y yo lo único que escuché, aunque nadie estaba grabando, what I heard was este, este suspenso así de... Yeah. Y todo el mundo se quedó así y entonces yo se revisó porque yo pensaba, me rompí el pie. Mm -hmm. Yo no sabía lo que había pasado. Con la adrenalina, el momento me dolía, pero yo no sabía exactamente dónde... La cosa es que yo estoy tirada en el piso con la pierna así, porque la, pier el, la pierna con los tacos que tenía puesto, obviamente, se me quedó encajada en, en el escalón. Todo el mundo corriendo, oh my God, se cayó, ya mira, y el revolú y whatever, y yo con los ojos así, no quiero ver, no quiero ver, porque yo creía que me había fracturado la pierna. Bueno, obviamente me disloqué el tobillo, y gracias a mi bodyguard, a Rafa, que inmediatamente salió corriendo, me compraron pastillas, eh, la, la banda para el tobillo y los, me crocs. Puso los crocs, obviamente. Y tú, yo, él sabe que yo no me iba a poner los crocs, so me los compró purple para que macharan el sur pink, porque no podemos perder el glamour. Y la botella es porque él ha sido eh, coach de basketball players, ¿verdad? Oh, that's y true. entonces so, él sabía lo que iba exacto, a hacer. Exacto. Sí. So, él fue el que me envolvió, me decía que tenía que pasar en la botellita. Bueno, para hacer el cuento largo por todo. Pero ha vivido muchas vidas. I know. Pero nadie lo grabó. 
ese es el punto. Si no, se hubiera ido viral. We really missed out. We tried to get her to fall again, but she, she wasn't. She didn't believe that they wanted me to fall again. God, please, save me anywhere that I'm at. Pero ese, esa situación de verdad que fue bien impactante. Gracias a Dios, todo bien, pero me tomó unos meses recuperarme de mi tobillo. One of the behind the scenes, I never made it actually. You guys got to see a little bit of this intimate moment in episode three for the wedding, but not this particular scene and not what comes next. Let's watch. You are the gift that God gave me. And he gave me a promise that you were going to be the most amazing human being I ever met. This beautiful young woman in front of me is my daughter. So I'm extremely, extremely happy and blessed. Was that acting? No. 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 That's what she That's was why I said real. it. Are you fucking serious? I can't believe Yuri it. asked you if that cry was fake. I cannot believe he did that. So literally, we're recording the confessionals. And I didn't know that they were going to show me that clip, right? So I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh my God. And I got I emotional started, when I rewatched it. So I started, you know, tearing away and everything, and then I'm talking, and then I couldn't hold it, and and I'm like in my moment, yeah, yeah. you know, like I'm literally in my. That moment. was an Oscar moment right there. And he goes, "Are you for real? Are you acting?" <laughs> I'm like, "What the hell are you talking about? This is my daughter's wedding." Unbelievable, de verdad. El 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 creía que yo me estaba ahí echando agüita en los ojos. ¿Tú puedes creerle eso? And speaking about men, so in Cancun, nosotros tuvimos eh, una parte, verdad? No todo fue party, <laughs> en tequila, yes. Um, pero besides that, ustedes vieron el show que también pues tuvimos una parte de interacción, los hombres con los hombres, las mujeres con las mujeres, pues hablando un poquito más como un taller, no, de de poder conversar de cómo podemos improve como esposas, como esposos, como eh, business owners, parents y todo lo demás que eh, lleva a cabo o envuelto en nuestra vida diaria. Y obviamente, Yuri y Rafa aparentemente nos comparan con toros. Imagínate tú eso. Let's watch. What are we doing next? What are we doing next year? What, what, you know, uh, the queen handles the details, you know, naturally, right? Of course, there's exceptions. There's women that are super aggressive, whatever, of course. But, uh, now you're talking to Linda. Uh, but, no, not necessarily. <laughs> not, but listen to me, Linda, Linda is super aggressive yes, sir. and super strong, uh, very strong. I mean, she's our team leader. She's, she's, she's a bull, just like Yanira. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that, uh, I, I guess let me talk about my experience. Even though Yanira is as, as much as driven and stuff like that, she she does take comfort when I take the lead to structure um, our future. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they feel that, you know, you're taking care of them. Right. Even though they can, super strong, exactly. they could do they it with, you know, it. exactly, they can handle it, but they feel like, oh, wow, that's my man. You know, that's, you know. Well, I must say, Yuri has earned himself a feminist alliance. Uh, I think obviously we're joking when we're saying, you know, te que te están comparando a toros and whatever, and you guys are aggressive. But, ¿A qué? ¿A qué me están comparando? Didn't you say toro? Toro? Toro, no toro. Well, same thing. <laughs> uh, I think that the point is that, you know, I think it was nice to see that side of them yes. to know that they view their wives as strong independent women who could do it all by themselves but at the same time their role as a man and where they come in is to still be that provider and to help you and make you feel like you don't have to even though you can yeah. you don't have to so I give him some points don't know I, I give him cinco estrellitas como decimos en Puerto Rico con brillito y todo but I still want to know what does he mean like bulls Linda and I so maybe they think we, he'll run them over but <laughs> So for the next show, I actually want him and Rafa 
to elaborate a little bit on that. <laughs> a whole show they, just on Yeah, that. because they, they could have said, oh, you know, Linda and Rafa son, eh, Linda y Anira son como superwoman. Right? Que ya no pueden hacer todos. Better choice Pero no words. necesitan a nosotros. Pero like a fool. I don't get it. So we're, we're going to get them on the next show. They, gotta, they have so much explanation to do on that. For sure. That's not all the Cancun footage we have, though. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Rafael so much. I don't think you guys realize how big of a celebrity he is amongst the team. So let's see this so you guys really get an idea. Una mujer hermosa, espectacular. 
y que yo sepa, tienen dos hijos. So, yo no sé si descubrimos algo aquí en el show. Yo no sé qué pasó cuando Kiri abrió el show. No, the funny thing is that that part actually made it into the show. So, in the show, Lewis is saying, tengo Madre tres hijas y mis tres hijas. So, él mismo me mandó un mensaje. Guys, I don't have three daughters. And we're like, well, then why did you say it? No, 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 he told me that in the, in the show, in the preview. Uh -huh. Están ellos dos sentaditos juntos, obviamente. Primera vez que todos nosotros estamos viendo los episodios, igual que todos nuestros guests. Cuando sale esta parte que dice, no, porque mi nombre es Luis, yo soy casado con tres hijas. La esposa está sentada al lado de él y el hombre le dice, is there something that I need to know? <laughs> We verified, Kiria. We promise there's nothing you need to know. It was a mistake. It was a blooper. <laughs> it was a blooper. It was one of the Yanira's bloopers. Pero obviamente, como ustedes pueden ver, esto no es algo que salió de una al tiro. That's obviamente, right. todos nos confundimos, todos, ¿verdad? So, no sé cuál es el que vamos a mostrar ahora. Well, we showed everybody else's. I think it's time that we show your bloopers. It's about time people get to know the real story behind real estate. Give me more um, attitude, thing. more like, more attitude, but like in the, the hype. In the volume also. I was talking really loud. No, you're not. People get to see the real story behind real estate. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's about time that people get to see the real story behind real estate. to see. Time that people know the real story behind real estate. You just lower the volume a little. Oh my God! So I, no, if I get too excited, it's selling. If not, it's too low. <coughs> Sorry. Go. You always do that. Uh, it's about time that people know. What? Stop it. Esto se escucha. Cuando tú te quedas tranquilo, you let me know. Go. <coughs> No, of course. Y prepárense porque vamos para la segunda. 
So definitivamente va, va a venir el second season de Janina's World Selling uh, the American Bigger Dream. and better than ever. Hopefully. Better than <laughs> ever. Muchas cosas nos pasaron, pero gracias a Dios estamos aquí compartiendo un poquito de nuestra experiencia con ustedes. Y de verdad, desde lo más profundo de mi corazón, espero lo hayan disfrutado, haya sido de su agrado, se hayan podido identificar con nosotros como, como latinos, como emprendedores, buscando el sueño americano y saliendo hacia adelante. Así que de verdad, un beso, un abrazo y con esto nos despedimos, ¿verdad? Ay, bueno, y vamos a despedirnos de con Yanira. ¡Sí, sí se, se puede! puede.